It's fascinating to see how people have been prioritizing their hygiene and beauty for thousands of years. From using natural ingredients like honey and olive oil in ancient times to the advanced skincare products and treatments available today, the pursuit of looking and feeling our best is something that connects us all. It's definitely safe to say that the hygiene products we use today are vastly different from those used by ancient Egyptians over 2,000 years ago. For instance, Queen Cleopatra's rumored milk baths were likely used to keep her skin healthy and glowing, but now we have access to a variety of products containing hydroxy acids that can provide similar benefits in a more convenient form. The use of animal fat in ancient Egyptian cosmetics and perfumes was not limited to just one type of animal. Various types of animal fats, including those from cows, sheep, and goats, were utilized in different ways to create different products. Additionally, the ancient Egyptians also used plant extracts such as henna to create a wide range of cosmetic products. Interestingly, many of these ancient Egyptian cosmetic recipes were not only used for aesthetic purposes, but also for medicinal purposes, as they contained natural ingredients that had healing properties. Overall, the use of animal fat in ancient Egyptian hygiene products provides a fascinating glimpse into the resourcefulness and ingenuity of this ancient civilization. What a creative way to use animal fat. I mean, who knew that it could be used to make hair gels and deodorants? I'm just picturing an ancient Egyptian walking around smelling like a combination of a cow and a sheep. But hey, whatever works, right? It's a good thing we have more options for hygiene products nowadays, or else we might all be walking around smelling like farm animals. It's amazing to think about how much effort ancient Egyptians put into their hygiene and appearance, right? I mean, taking daily baths and using a variety of hygiene products made from natural ingredients like minerals and animal fat. It's fascinating to see how they were able to create such intricate and effective cosmetic items using what was available to them. It must have taken a lot of trial and error to come up with the perfect combinations of ingredients. Did you know that ancient Egyptians also used ostrich eggs and crushed tortoise eggshells in their deodorant? That's wild! It's kind of cool that they were able to create a natural, scent-free antiperspirant, though. Nowadays, we have a lot more options for deodorants that are free from animal products. But it's still important to read the labels and understand what we're putting on our bodies. In addition to the ostrich and tortoise egg deodorant, ancient Egyptians also used other natural ingredients for personal hygiene. For example, they would use a mixture of animal fat and honey to moisturize their skin, and they would use a type of soap made from animal and plant oils to clean themselves. It's amazing to think that ancient Egyptians had such a significant impact on science and medicine. Even the modern word chemistry actually gets its name from the language spoken and written by ancient Egyptians, which they themselves called Kemet. It's interesting to see how their knowledge and advancements in hygiene and medicine have influenced modern practices. We owe a lot to their understanding of cleanliness and health. In addition to their contributions to chemistry and medicine, ancient Egyptians also made significant strides in fields like astronomy, mathematics, and engineering. They were able to accurately measure the movement of the stars and planets, and they developed sophisticated techniques for building structures like the pyramids. It's clear that they had a deep respect for the natural world and were constantly seeking to understand it better. It's humbling to think that even thousands of years ago, people were making discoveries and advancements that still impact our lives today. So, what can we learn from the contributions of ancient Egyptians to science and medicine? Well, for one, it's a reminder that knowledge and understanding have been passed down through generations for thousands of years. It's also a testament to the power of curiosity and exploration. By seeking to understand the world around us, we can make incredible discoveries and advancements that have the potential to improve our lives and the lives of others. So as you go about your day, take a moment to appreciate the wonders of the natural world and the contributions of those who have come before us. And remember, as always, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep asking questions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.